Today we have the capability, for example, to stitch together Wi-Fi networks. Uh, you know how everyone has Wi-Fi networks in their homes, but they leave them closed because there's no real incentive to open them up. Kind of opens you up to hacking. Um, but you could imagine a world in which the Wi-Fi access points uh, have an incentive mechanism built in, where if I open up my Wi-Fi access point, anyone going by can use it, and their phone will automatically connect and pay some micro pennies using a Wi-Fi coin. And uh, I'll collect the Wi-Fi coin in my uh, network, and that will be credit for me so that when I go traveling, I can use other people's Wi-Fi access points, and it's now all done seamlessly. And wherever there are gaps in coverage, entrepreneurs will say, well, I can make a lot of Wi-Fi coin by dropping a Wi-Fi access point here. So you could use a blockchain-based network to create a global distributed Wi-Fi network that would be very high bandwidth throughput, maintained by all the nodes, and owned by nobody and would be upgraded on demand just based on where, where there were usage needs. Um, now, to create that kind of a network, now let's say I'm a group of developers who creates that network, what I'll do is, uh, early on, I'll give a lot of, I'll, I'll, I'll program the network to give a lot of tokens uh, to the people who are providing the first Wi-Fi access points. So in a sense, I'm bootstrapping the network. And what I'm basically saying to them is like, if you're an early adopter, your Wi-Fi access, uh, Wi-Fi token is going to be worth a lot more later, and you'll be able to get a lot more Wi-Fi credit, or even sell it for cash. Uh, same way if I was trying to compete with Uber with a blockchain-based network, the early drivers would get a lot of compensation in my new Uber coin so that when my Uber beats the normal Uber, they'll be rich because they took risk early on by driving people around before there were enough riders. So tokens kind of can help bootstrap networks and solve the cold start problem that networks suffer from. But now in the regulatory environment we're in, these are all considered securities. So under securities law, I can't just distribute you a Wi-Fi coin or an Uber coin because I have to worry about, did I comply with securities laws? Am I ripping you off? Are you speculating? And there's such onerous restrictions that it basically just kills the whole thing. So at least in the US, we seem to have gone from this model of like everything is a utility token to, nothing is a, to everything is a security token. Uh, and that kind of uncertainty is making it very hard to innovate. Um, so one example that I think a forward-looking regulator could do is they could say, okay, when things have a dual-use case, like a utility token and a security token, we will err on the side of letting it be used for utility early on. Uh, we're going to work with the companies to have a clear regulatory framework. Uh, and then you could see a whole bunch of companies that want to experiment with utility tokens basing out of here uh, and bootstrapping large networks that could then eventually go on and compete globally because it is the nature of these things to be winner take all. So if we build a ride sharing coin that takes over from Uber or we build a Wi-Fi coin that takes over from Spark or Verizon, that's going to be a global network. So it, it's, this, is a, it, this is what's interesting about crypto. You can launch a, comp, a crypto company from here that can literally take over the whole world. There are no barriers to adoption in crypto. There's no language barriers. There's no app store download barriers. There's none of that. Um, so you, so if, if you had a friendly regulatory environment here, you could literally build the internet and financial system that runs the world 20 years from now and instead of everyone here being a vassal of Facebook or Google or YouTube, you know, they're all using a New Zealand developed property and all the people here who adopted those coins early on would actually be fabulously wealthy.